everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Jenny Allen and um, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel thumbs up this video and please check the description box for more notifications and videos and other bits of information that I have about who I am and my channel and I'm very very excited to be able to present a Bible review today um, of the Charles Swindoll Study Bible and it's from the writer and minister Chuck Swindoll and I've been somebody who's really loved the ministry of Chuck Swindoll now for maybe about 30 years or so which is a long time and he has really ministered to me over the years I've read his books I've listened to his messages and one of my goals was really to get his Bible because I love the way he presents the word and I'm really excited that I am now able to have the Chuck Swindoll Bible. I think that he also has um, commentaries about different books of the Bible. I think he's got the Gospels. I think he's done the commentary on every book of the New Testament and the commentaries are out there now so I would really love to have those commentaries um, in my book library which I will aim to do um, I've read a lot of his books he's done character studies on Paul Jesus Daniel Esther um, I think he's done Job as well and the books are excellently written so well written so well narrated um, you really get a sense of who these these um, characters in the Bible were as people and I would really recommend you to get some of his books I will put um, a link in the description in the description bar below of some of the books that he has written you can also get them on audible but I really love the way he writes it really draws you in into the character I absolutely love it so let's get started with the Bible so this Bible is the New Living Translation Bible and I think the cover can come off actually yeah so here it will just go through you um, it will go through a little bit about the Bible this study Bible was designed with you in mind and it has an opening there by Chuck Swindoll um, walk closer with Jesus and so you've got it here and it's the New Living Translation and it's by Tyndall and um, I'm so excited about this Bible you have no idea honestly and I've got this bit here I've hidden some personal bits that I've already written on here so I've got to cover it up um, so let's get started with it. So here is the opening of the Bible, uh, New Living Translation, and I've got me stickies here so that I've got prompts of the important pages. So here you've got the table of contents, and what I love about it actually, you've got the Old Testament and then you've got it divided up. So you've got the Pentateuch, which is the first five books of the Bible, um, and then you've got the historical books and you've got the wisdom books, the major prophets, and then you've got the minor prophets. And then you go to the Old Testament, sorry, the New Testament, and then you have the Gospels, the history of the early church, which is the book of Acts. You've got the letters of Paul, the general letters and the apocalypse of John. So it breaks it down into the different sections of the Bible. Um, and I really, really, really love that because it can help with when you're studying a particular book, for example, it can help you to place what section of the Bible it's from, what section of the Bible it's from. And I really, really like that. So... You've got the breakdown there here at the bottom it says an app downloaded code can be found on the pages following the color maps at the back of the Bible so this Bible actually also comes with an app that you can download and the app and the Bible work together so I'm looking forward to downloading that as well so you've got an introduction by Chuck Swindoll and let's go to the next page so here you have the Bible translation team 
um, you've got the Pentateuch, the historical books, all the different sections of the Bible. You've got the translation team who worked on those different sections and the individual books of the Bible for this particular project. Um, you've got it here as well. Here you've got the main contributors of the Bible. You've got the editors and the Tyndale development team. And then here you have the Old Testament. So we're going to go in. So each of those sections that I was talking about, the wisdom books, the historical books, the Pentateuch, each part will start off with an introduction about each of those particular sections. So here you've got the Pentateuch. It goes into what the Pentateuch means and how the Pentateuch was delivered and what the Pentateuch actually consists of and its relevance in the historical timeline. So you've got that there and that will be the introduction to the first five books of the Bible. And then each book is laid out the same. So you've got who wrote the Bible. We'll start with Genesis as a description. You've got where are we? Okay. And then you have, then it offers you, um, why is this particular book important? What's the big idea? How do I apply this? And then you've got the timeline of each book. So in Genesis, for example, you've got the creation, Genesis 1 to 2, the fall of man, verses 3 to 5. And it breaks down the whole book into sections and the important events that covers each of those sections. And then here you've got the beginning, you've got the historical timeline, you've got the emphasis, etc., 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 and then it actually goes into the Bible. So you have an actual detailed overview and description of each book of the Bible. And this is how each book of the Bible is laid out. So let me go to my next one. So here you've got the book of Joshua, the same thing. Who wrote the book? Where are we? Why is Joshua so important? And it gives you that overview. Same thing, you've got a historical timeline. You've got a timeline for the books and they're grouped together. And um, at the top, it tells you which of what each of these groupings consist of. Here for the book of Joshua, you've got maps. And then here again, you've got what's the big idea and how do I apply this? So I love this. So this is the historical books. OK, then here in in um, in key sections of each book of the Bible, you've got a you've got um, a page where it will bring out a thought and he will begin to expound that particular thought. So Genesis, Genesis 1, 7 to 8. The topic is absorbing God's word. And then he goes into um, how you can absorb God's word and the importance of it. So I like that because it take a key verse and break it down to you. OK, and then here you will have, for example, you also have prayer moments. So here you have a prayer moment based on Joshua chapter seven. You've got a prayer moment here. And then at the bottom, you've got a prayer perception. Joshua seven, six to nine. You've got here, nothing is hidden. And across the bottom, he will highlight different areas um, of the story or of what is happening in that particular chapter. And he will begin to expound on those key verses from the verses that he's highlighted. And this kind of um, commentary runs throughout the Bible and it's in light blue at the bottom. So as you flick through, you will see that he has different areas in light blue that he's gonna be expounding on here. It's the same thing. So let's go to the back. So that's basically the same 
um, it's the same way how the Bible runs from, from through our each book. It's the same layout for each book of the Bible and for the different sections, exactly the same layout. So what I'm going to do, because it's the same layout, I'm going to move to the back because there are some actually some really, really good things at the back of the Bible. So here he's expounding on searching the scriptures. And before you get started, what you need to do. So here he goes through some basic methods of studying the Bible. So you've got, he says, my method of studying the Bible has four main steps. One, observation, two, interpretation, three, correlation, and four, application. And then he begins to expound on each of those topics. So you've got observation here, interpretation, and then he will have correlation and application. And he's got here benefits of studying the Bible. Now it's your turn. So he gives an example and then it's now your turn to do the main steps of the Bible study. So he gives you a section there where you can write down your own observations, etc. Interpretation, correlation, how you apply it. There we go. And then here he's got a Bible reading plan at the back of the Bible. Um, which you can tick um, as you're going through. So he's got a really good Bible plan there, which goes on, and I think it goes on for 50, yes, it goes on for 52 weeks. 52 weeks. And then at the back, you've got index to application articles. So different articles that there are in the Bible. He's laid out every um, application article and the page number. So if you're looking at, for example, the book of Exodus, the grace of God, page 129. If you go to page 129. As an example. There we go. The Grace of God, page 129. So it's the it's an exposition of those key verses there. So if you're looking for a particular article in a particular book, you can just go to the application articles and look at what you want to learn. And you go there, go to that page and read and study it. And these application articles, the index is here. And it goes all the way through to the book of Revelation. And then you've got an index to the people profiles. So throughout the Bible as well, he profiles certain characters in the Bible. The characters are listed and also their page number. So for example, you've got Jonah, page 1070. So let's go to page 1070. Let's flick through here. There we go. So you've got a people profile, Jonah, the running prophet. And then you have the whole profile of the, of the character. You've got the quick facts up here. You've got the key lessons that you can learn from the character. And then if you want to learn more, it gives different scriptures as to where you can go back and learn more about the character. So that's fantastic. I'm really excited about this Bible, honestly. Um, and then you've got a New Living Translation Dictionary and Concordance here. So you've got Concordance that runs right through. And then here you have Holy Land itineraries. I think that um, Chuck Swindoll has done a lot of um, tours of the Holy Land and they are documented here. Um, it says here, simply choose a route and turn to each tour stop for a memorable trip through some of the significant geographical and ar archaeological sites of the Bible. And I like this because um, 
let me just show you that. So for example, you've got mountains and valleys of Israel, trip one. So you start here, Marishai in the Gurvan Valley, and it gives you the page reference number in the Bible. And then you've got the chapter here, and then you move down to the Valley of Elah, page 354, 1 Samuel chapter 17. Um, and it goes through and it gives you a step-by-step -step tour um, of the mountains and, mountains and valleys of Israel with the topic and the corresponding chapter and the page number. So you've got trip one, mountains and valleys of Israel. You've got trip two, strategic cities of Israel's history. Trip three, places of worship in Israel. Jesus's ministry travels. And then you've got the itinerary down there, etc. So let's just have a look. There we go. You've got trip five. Jesus's passion and resurrection. Trip six, you've got the early church, the early churches and their trips. And then at the back, you've got the maps uh, of the Bible. So you've got Palestine here. You've got the world of the patriarchs here. And Exodus from Egypt here. And the rest are just other maps. Here you've got the 12 tribes of Israel map. Let's see, I think I can show that to you there. The 12 tribes of Israel map. And that's it. So I'm really, for me, I've wanted this Bible for a long while. Um, you've got other maps here. I've wanted this Bible for a long while. And I'm really glad that I've got it now. And if you're somebody who's into studying and really want to get some background information about what you're studying, character studies, background information about um, parts of Israel, traditions, anything like that, this Bible is for you. And it also gives, as it says here, trusted wisdom, practical application and refreshing insight. And I'm really, really excited to have this Bible and I need to sort of go now and download the app. So I hope that you enjoyed my Bible review of the Swindoll Study Bible. And I'd encourage you that if you're a keen Bible study person, it's be really good if you could get this in your Bible collection. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and I will see you in my next video. Have a fantastic day and happy Bible studying.